Good afternoon, good evening. We're going to start with this press conference for the semi-final uh, between Man United and Sevilla Football Club for the Europa League. Without further ado, we have uh, uh, Julian Lopetegui and Bona. We are going to start with uh, questions for our player, Bono, and after the questions for Bono, we will start with uh, questions for our manager. Is that okay? So I'll give the floor to Alberto Moreno. Alberto, yep. Well, uh, after having seen where you're going to play tomorrow, what are your feelings for the Sevilla versus Manchester Man United? Uh, well, good afternoon. Well, the feeling uh, we have and, uh, uh, for the pre-match uh, every day, a lot of eagerness, uh, there's a lot of responsibility. We are really looking forward to, to the game tomorrow. No question for José Antonio Espina, the Arreoas. Yeah. Hi. I wanted to ask you, Bono, about your future a little bit. You still have two games left this season, but do, do you feel OK at Seville? Seville? Would you like to stay here? Well, honestly... Uh, we're just focusing on the semi-final at hand. So this is the most important thing right now. Joaquin López, Sevilla FC Television. Good afternoon. A uh, question for Bono. Uh, the other day, after the quarterfinals game, Jordan was, of course, glad about the triumph, but also about how you performed. Jordan said you had complicated moments this season and you had overcome them. I think this shows the good atmosphere at the, uh, the Sevilla dressing room. Maybe, Bono, this is part of, you know, uh, the key for your success. You're more a family than a team. Well, like I uh, said the other day, I always felt... Uh, in Sevilla's uh, ship, you know, whether I was playing or not, playing okay or, or playing or, or not playing okay, or whatever happens, I always played, I always felt I was uh, on the same boat as the rest of my teammates. I always felt like a Sevilla player who was ready to bring things to the team and feeling important in the team. And that, of course, uh, you know, transpires to the rest of the group. And uh, the more players uh, ha you have in your team that feel like that, you're closer to victory and you're closer to getting objectives and making history. If you have less players like that, well, it becomes a bit more complicated. Any more questions for Bono? Alberto Fernandez, Diario Marca. Hi, Bono. Oh, you had a decisive intervention the other day, stopping a penalty. Uh, have you practiced the penalties uh, to, and, and how Man United uh, shoots penalties? Have you practiced any of that? Well, uh, we, we study every game, of course, but... Uh, but that is just uh, different moments in football, you know. Uh, it's just in the heat of the moment it's, it's where everything happens. From my, from my end, or from well, the player who's going to shoot, that's the way football is. Mm. 
Yeah, Bono, I wanted to ask you about the arrival of Nemanja Gudo, apart from the uh, from the sporting, uh, the footballing point of view, just for the dressing room. Is it uh, some sort of reinforcement for this game? Well, obviously, when, when a teammate that has gone through a complicated situation and comes back and the next game is already, is already training with you totally in a totally normal way, he's physically fit, you obviously feel kind of... Uh, you feel better gives you a sort of a, a, a certain a certain plus a certain high and uh, yeah if he is a very good part of very important part of this team and that's something that we all, all the rest of the players feel carry cuando quieras carry brown uh, Whenever you like, are you online, Kerry? Can I ask you, Manchester United have won a record number of penalties in Europe this season. How well aware are your team of that and how closely have you studied Bruno Fernandes? Bueno, sabemos que el... Well, we know that Man United has uh, is a team that has very talented players up front and we know that they can provoke many penalties in that respect. So the rest, uh, we, we, we study uh, all the penalty takers for every match. And uh, but in, in any case, it's in the, in the heat of the moment when everything is decided. So no more questions for Bono? Thank you, Bono. You can go to the dressing room. Can someone go with uh, Bono? Right, let's go for with questions for Julian Lopetegui. We're starting with Alberto Fernandez, Diario Marca. Hi, hello, Julian. How are you? Well, well, it's we are hours away from a European semi-final. How do you feel? How 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 responsible do you feel? How is the dressing room feeling? And how how do they feel uh, in the face of uh, such an important date for Sevilla? Well, good afternoon. We feel, you know, in this the the, the calm. Uh, uh, ahead of a game that we are very eager about and well the rest uh, we, we we have a lot of ambition a lot of excitement willingness for this game to arrive and obviously this is the kind of scenario where the team where the team belongs you know we this is no different to any other game but of course we know that such a beautiful and important game is tomorrow against a complicated historical rival like man united but we have we come here with a healthy intention to try to win so we have prepared for that how is the dressing room feeling the word would be uh, eagerness you know they they're really looking forward to the game Hi, Julian. How are you? Analyzing the rival, what kind of a game do you kind of imagine tomorrow? <laughs> well, I've been talking about it these days. I think Manchester United is the best Man United in the last few years. They have found their football. They haven't lost since January, you know, in such a competitive league as the Premier League. And they have found, you know, the, the right place for such a uh, good players they have they, they are a total team in many uh, aspects of the game and they are going to force us to play a, a great game in order to compete so uh, that's what we hope tomorrow you know there's, it's a semi-final against a, 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 you know it's a maximum difficulty game it's going to to force us to play our best game collectively and as a team good afternoon Julian in this kind of maximum ma maximum level football, European football, every detail counts. Every detail can be important. The fact that Man United has one more day of rest, <laughs> could this mean a certain advantage for the, for the English team? You know, 
bearing in mind how odd the situation is and how long the season has been and the intensity of this schedule, well, this is it is what it is. And they, they played ahead, uh, one day ahead, and they have one day more to rest. But from taking it from there, our team, every time there's been a difficulty that we couldn't control, that was out of our, you know, we, we just adapted to it and we, we, we grew out of every difficulty. So we need to be strengthened by that. This is what it is and we will adapt to the situation. Antonio Spina, the Oreo Us. Hi, Julian. I wanted to ask you about Nemanja Goodell. I think he's, it's, the whole team, is, uh, the whole squad is, is really happy about seeing him in Germany. I think you were really happy to see him as well because he... And is he in, in a good physical condition to be in the squad? Or maybe it's just too early? Could you be there in contention for tomorrow? Well, the arrival of Nemanja is, was a great, uh, uh, greatly received by, by everyone. He, we, everybody loved him in the dressing room. He shows what, what kind of a team we are, what kind of dressing room we have. And as, with a, from a footballing point of view, Obviously, he is going to be part of the squad for tomorrow. He's in contention for tomorrow. So we'll see if he plays or not. He's trained okay. And if he has to come out and play, he will, he will be there and, and help us, no doubt. <laughs> Julian, as for the, you know, related to the question of uh, difference, of, of that one day difference and uh, the potential one day of re extra day of rest for Man United, how is the team feeling after the true? two magnificent efforts they've made in Europe and how long the season has been. How is the team physically for tomorrow? Now we have so much eagerness and willingness and excitement and that has to overcome everything. That's the main thing. Uh, you arrive and arrived at Sevilla with the ambition to do great, important things with Sevilla. I don't know if you dreamt at some point with a game like this, but this is one of the football matches that every coach wants. Uh, a European semi-final versus Man, Man United. How do you feel? Well, obviously, we like playing beautiful, important games like this. And obviously, at this at, uh, time of the, of the season, we have been working all, all year round. And we are happy to have this opportunity to play a beautiful game, an important game against a grandiose rival. And with, we'll try to show our best face. We want to be able to, to be there, to be prepared and have the healthy intention to overcome our rival. This is what we are going to try to do tomorrow. And we are going to work on that without any doubt. Any more questions? Nobody else waiting so we can... Uh, this is finished. Thank you so much, and I will speak to you tomorrow.